Benjamin Franklin Stamps Worth Money The One Cent Stamp of 1875 Is part of the collection of the series printed on politicians You will see Benjamin Franklin Portrait American scientist and politician He lived in the 18th century And was one of the protagonists of the American Revolution Founding father of the United States of America He has held many prominent roles And prominence in politics but he was never president of the United States of America. Benjamin. He was the first postmaster general of the whole country. From 1775 to 1776. With the task of directing the first federal agency. Which was responsible for managing and organizing all deliveries of mail and goods. Throughout the Federation. Over his face. The inscription post of the United States. Down. The face value of the stamp. One cent of the U.S. dollar. On the side. The value expressed as a number. And the initials. U. And S. United States. Blue stamp dated 1875. It was issued in only 3,195 copies. And today it is worth $1,000. The one cent stamp of 1869. Depicts the face of the founding father. 100 years earlier. In 1769. In Central America. It made itself felt more and more. The weight of being a colony of the United Kingdom. And other colonizers. More and more tensions arose. To gain its independence. Period which led up to the eve of the War of Independence. Which will begin in 1775. Around the face. You will be able to see the writings. United States Mail. Followed by the nominal value of the piece. One cent of the U.S. dollar. Ochre stamp. Dated 1869. Was issued in 12,000 copies. And is worth $1,200. The 30 cent stamp of 1860. Depicts Benjamin's face turned to the left. 100 years before this stamp issue. Benjamin Franklin. He was known for his writing. In fact from 1732 until 1758. His book Poor Richard's Almanac was published. Included calendars. Weather forecasts. Poems. Quotes. Notions of astronomy. And so on. A collection that was a great success in the country. Reaching every year. Sale from thousands of books. Over his face. You will see the writing U.S. Post. Down. The nominal value of the piece. 30 cents of the U.S. dollar. On the side. The nominal value is reported in letters. Orange stamp dated 1860. It was issued in 360,000 copies. And today it is worth $2,500. The one cent stamp of 1867. It is very similar in representation to the first stamp you saw in this video. On the center. You will be able to see the face of Benjamin Franklin. 100 years before this piece was issued. In 1767. The Stamp Act had recently been abolished. Law imposed by the Parliament of London. Imposed on all English colonies in North America. To pay a fee on each sheet printed. Included books. Newspapers. Legal documents. Publications. Board cards. And so on. A law. Which sparked several protests. Including that of Benjamin Franklin. Then thanks to his popularity and his diplomacy managed to bring about the abolition of this law. Under the bust. The nominal value of the piece reported in letters. Dark blue stamp. Dated 1867. Was issued in 3,000 copies. And today it is valid in the philately market. $4,000. The 24 cent stamp of 1869. Depict the act of declaration of independence of the United States of America. Deed in which a committee made up of the Founding Fathers, including Benjamin Franklin. They prepared the official and formal text of the Declaration of Independence. The text was presented to the Congress and approved on July 4, 1776. In this depiction, you will be able to see the Committee of Five standing in front of the main Congress desk, where they symbolically present the text for approval. Above picture, the inscription posed down the nominal value reported in letters. 24 cents of the US dollar. Greenish stamp. 
dated 1869, was issued in 250,000 copies, and is worth $9,000. The 1847 five cent stamp depicts Benjamin Franklin's face straight. It is not facing in profile, as is represented in many other pieces. 100 years before this piece was issued, in 1747, Benjamin made the first electrical experiments, such as the Leyden jar theory, an electric capacitor, used for many experiments, similar to a glass bottle. It was able to reproduce high voltage current inside it, without damaging the glass itself, and endanger the people who handled it. Another research and invention from 1747, was the study of lightning, and the invention of the lightning rod, over his face. The inscription post office, down, the inscription indicating a number and letters, the nominal value of the piece, 5 cents of the US dollar, reddish orange stamp, dated 1847. Its circulation is not known, and is worth up to $20,000. The 1 cent stamp of 1851. It is one of the rarest and most valuable pieces of American philately. It presents itself with the typical face of Benjamin. Facing right. 100 years earlier. Officially debuted in politics. First as a congressman from Pennsylvania. Then as a state representative to the Albany Convention. Official meeting between representatives of the British colonies. In that time. Thanks to his charisma. Gaining more and more approvals. And friendships in the political field. In 1851. Congress reduced postal rates setting aside the concept of remote delivery. In fact thanks to the new tariff prints, like the scent, letters or parcels that had this type of stamp, could be shipped to the same city. Furthermore, the particularity of this stamp, it was also in the payment that could not be anticipated. But upon receipt of the letter or parcel, above the FA, say, you will see the writing post office, down, the nominal value, one cent of the US dollar. Blue stamp. Dated 1851. Its circulation is not known. It is 20 millimeters high. 26 millimeters wide. And is worth up to $150,000 in the philately market. <laughs>